so oh, I am clambering through shed at half nine at night because these Fox ES batteries they're just drawing from the grid all the time so they're not set to come on and drawing from the grid but they keep doing it they've been doing it throughout the day it's a bizarre sequence of events it's drawing over a kilowatt of power I think it's just dead in it this one yeah um, very odd very frustrating it's drawing electric from peak peak time so I'm going to look how I can actually stop this happening um, I need some way of just isolating it I think probably from here it's costing a fortune sadly uh, which is not quite what I was expecting there we go killed him right let's stop that now so the whole system that's now gone red just take him offline that's all I can do so for now until I can get some solution I can't I'm not getting any answers from first for solar I'm getting nothing um, and no one on uh, we got a lovely support Facebook group for the Fox stuff but no one knows how to stop stop this being a jerk basically um, doesn't matter at the battery percentage it's on it can be at 10% uh, it can be it today I think it was 15 16 percent it just started drawing from the grid in peak time um, it's been at 55 percent it suddenly starts drawing from the grid starting to charge even though it's definitely set up not to draw from the grid because you can choose to force it to draw from the grid it's all off uh, it's been reset still does it so I'm just uh, yeah I just have to do what I've just done there which is kill the system which is a bit annoying. So that's now all off, offline. Depressing and slightly annoying. Um, but oh, if anybody else has got any suggestions on what to do, as I say, it's about half night at night now. I've just watched it for the last three or four hours, just, just sit there charging it, peak rates, um, which of course defeats the object because you're actually getting some losses in this. You're better off just turning the whole system off, just drawing from the, the grid. <laughs> without the losses through the inverters, etc. It's actually costing more money. Um, so not going well. The first few days, I think about five days, it ran really well. Did exactly, I thought you could just leave it alone. Now, not good, not really not good. I wouldn't dare not keep checking it on the hour every hour just to make sure it isn't suddenly drawing whatever, two kilowatt, five kilowatt from the grid um, because it just does it even though it's set not to do it. So the saga continues. Um, the system now is off. Um, those are off. It can't cost me more money now. As you can probably hear the boilers going. It's actually not, I mean, you can see my breath. So it's cold in here, but it's not, it's not really to do with the temp. It's not to do with the temperature, as far as I can tell. I mean, the batteries, as I say, state of charge can be at different varying states. Um, don't know is it just a bug in the system but it's not the sort of experience you want is it really you want it just, just to install the system and then for it to work because it's, it's very very expensive um yeah if anyone else has got any ideas how on earth you stop your fox batteries and it the usual suggestions probably aren't going to be the ones because we have been through that on that facebook group all these different things you can do i've messed around with to draw from grid not to draw from grid the different times set all those things up whatever i set them at doesn't work Anybody else, the trouble is not many people have got the version two 4100s to be able to sort of help. But if you've got them and you've come across this issue, I know loads of other people are also experiencing this issue as well and not getting any answers. If anybody does know, please let me know. Cheers, and then I can actually try and implement it and feedback if that's gonna work or not. It's not looking very good, is it? This journey's been very rough from install to completion and now from actual operation in a practical sense. Stick with me, because I've got to stick with it, because I've invested the money into it, so I haven't got a choice. If you're thinking of doing it, just maybe wait until you see what my experience pans out to actually be in real life. But this is just a real quick update video on the hoof this evening. Unbelievable.